tail is the best part. So we'll go ahead and free that off. So we're gonna put that to, you know, season and salt. We're actually gonna put this iguana carcass into this trap right here, all right? Now I seen a video that people were catching large crabs and lobsters and crayfish on iguanas. So I don't know guys, this is the perfect place to try it. Whoa, nice. Careful, these things bite hard. Oh yeah, no worries. I'm from the Philippines. Oh, oh my God. That's it. Oh, oh, get him, he's gonna escape. Get him. Get him. Get him. What's going on guys? It's your boy, the Iguana Man. We're back at y'all with another video. Today we got our special guest helping us on the removal job. What's your name again? Lali Amante from New York. Woohoo! Yeah, buddy. Um, guys, we're gonna be doing some removal today and we are busting out the PCP air rifle. We got the Umarik Skylit right there, uh, 22 cal. We have the ATN 4K uh optic on it now you guys are probably wondering iguana man i see you using different guns i see you using uh gamos i see you using break barrels i see you using pcps well guys the honest truth is i have a lot of guns guys i have about four or five air rifles so what i like to do is every two weeks i like to switch it up so for two weeks i'll use my break barrel two weeks i'll use my pcp i'll use my gamma i'll use my ruger today we're going to be using the umarix and we are going to be shooting these barracuda 22 cal pellets right here long range hunting it's about 1.37 grains grams i'm sorry and 21 grains guys so it's pretty heavy and we have the atn 4k x site pro we do have the PCP air rifle, we're breaking it out today. So let's see what iguanas we can kill. Matter of fact, I see an iguana right over there. Yep. And guys, at this job, guys, any iguana has a bounty on it, guys. We're gonna put, see if we can teach that one a fat lesson right there, real quick. Let's go. There you go. There you go. Yay! There you go. All right. Amazing. Good First job. Put it in the bag. Put it in the bag. Woo! Oh, yeah. That's a two year old right there. Wow. First shot right there, y'all. Got him in the bag, let's go. Now, what I realized, guys, the smaller target, the harder it is to hit them. For obvious reasons, it's, it's better aim you gotta do. But uh, we're gonna keep our eyes out for bigger iguanas. This is still a decent size. He's a breeding male. Mm -hmm. He was out probably eating. Obviously, there's a blade of grass in his mouth and he was probably looking to mate. We just prevented him from doing that. In the bag you go, buddy. Okay, let's see what we can recover. We killed three of them for sure. Kill three of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, See, it's a young male again. Another young male. Yeah, they're young male. How how old is this? Uh, a year, two years. Two years old, yeah. Yep. So, um, there's one more that was. Right where's the other one? Oh, he's right here. He's right here. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a big meal again. Oh, wow. Dang, look at the shot. Whoa. Perfect look headshot. That, guys. Perfect oh. shot. Right through. You see this gun is strong, right? I know. It's super strong. Oh. And then, like, you know, the, the air? Well, guys, oh. we, we ended up shooting at a total of three of them. Three. The one that escaped, he definitely got hit. He's definitely not going to make it. But the good thing is, guys, this whole waterway is full of alligators and turtles. Yeah. So if he dies in there, something's definitely going to make lunch out of him. There's nothing we can do about it. But we did recover the two males that we were able to kill just right on impact, guys. Instant death. Super humane. We got two more iguanas in the bag. In the bag. Two-year-old male are ready to mate, right? And every female they, they mate gets 30 to 50 eggs guys so. in the bag guys look at this it's a private property but look at this danger 
alligator wow there's alligators here guys and this is a private exclusive property guys look at that uh, the big one the first one clear everyone who knows there's a big cave under no yeah there could be Yay! Let's go. Let's go clear. Because sometimes they run. Nice. No, yeah. Whoa! Ooh. That's a big one. We got some eggs. Yes. We got the female you were talking about. Yes. Here you go, guys. Look at that. And that's a lot of eggs inside. Yep. That's gonna be our lunch. Yes, karagi, right? That's gonna be our lunch. Amazing yes. detail. So we don't, you don't go into water. There you go. Yeah. No, he's facing in me. He's facing me. I'm scared. Oh, there you go. Nice. Wow, that's big. You hear that? Listen, listen. Oh. oh, there's a lot inside a on the here. nest. Oh. All right, real quick. That was just a quick hunt, guys. We're out here for an hour. Uh, we started off kind of late. We did see a lot. We didn't see no giants. Quick, we got our friend Lally. Hey, Lally. How are you? Hello, doing? everyone. You want to help us out with the final count yes, and see how many we got? This, guys. So, yeah. We have one. Okay. We're going to start with the small ones. Two. Two. And three. Three. Yep. Yeah. Look at those. Oh my god, they look like. Why do they look all gray? Four. Four. Wow. Hey, we did better than I thought. I thought we only I had know. about four. Five. Five. Six. six seven. seven. Oh, there's, I feel like, yeah. Yep. And the biggest one. Oh my gosh. Lots of eggs, right? We got a fat female right here. Jeez. Oh. Jeez. So Actually, the the husband ran quick on the other side. Oh yeah. Of that, the lake. that giant alpha was the husband. There you guys have it right there. Seven iguanas wow. in a quick hour. All took in with the Umarix gauntlet right there, y'all. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. But uh, we are actually going to be doing a catch, clean, and cook. Lali, what are we going to be doing? So you guys should check it out. My favorite food I want to introduce to Raz is chicken karage from Japan. But now, since we're so hungry and we don't want to spend any money going to Japanese restaurants, so we're going to cook the iguana tails as iguana karage. So come check it out, guys. And thank you for, for always welcoming me, Raj. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Any friend of people that like to hunt iguanas is a friend of mine. Lali has been a great help and she's going to be cooking up some iguana karage for us. It's a Japanese cuisine. I've never had it before, so I'm looking forward to it. Also, we might set some traps out there. We heard iguanas make really good bait to catch fish and possibly some giant crabs. So we're going to go out there to the spot, set up camp, start cooking some iguana, set some traps and see what else we can catch. So we'll see you guys there. Okay guys, we have made it over here to the campgrounds. As you guys can see, gorgeous bay behind us. They have kayaks. This is the perfect little paradise for us to do our catch, clean, and cook. All right, there goes our campfire burner slash stove. We have our iguana right here, and we also have this trap. We're gonna see what kind of animals we can trap while we're here. It seems like there can be a lot of things out here, guys fish shrimp crustaceans the sky is the limit so stay tuned we're gonna go ahead and clean this iguana up this is the big female that we got earlier and uh we'll be back with an update okay guys right here we have that giant female iguana and we are gonna do the catch clean and cook with the iguana tail as you guys know the tail is the best part so we'll go ahead and free that off 
boom. And just like that, we have a nice iguana tail. But we might as well try to get these these right here. You think yeah, this will be good? Yeah, that's perfect. That would be good. Yes, the legs. Yeah. The drumstick. Okay. We'll see that would can... be good. Take all those drumsticks. True. Okay. Yep. It's my first time trying this. What do you say we're cooking? Uh, we're gonna cook Japanese iguana karage. Since the chicken karage in the restaurant is very expensive, so we're gonna do this everywhere they're they're everywhere in florida so we're gonna make an iguana karage oh that sounds really good i don't think i've ever had that before so i'm really looking forward to that i am very hungry and i can't wait to there show you so we got the tails and the drumsticks guys or we call it also iguana wings guys now guys we have this right here all right this is the body of the iguana. We're first of all, we're gonna see whether she has eggs or not. Because this was a female. So we're gonna see if there's any eggs. There's no oh, oh wow. Yeah. yeah. There's Whoa. eggs. I can saute that. I can saute with soy sauce. Um I can cook that too. Some iguana yeah. eggs? Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Well, that guys, would be perfect. Not to worry. This iguana carcass, we're not going to let it go to waste. Guys, we are actually going to put this iguana carcass into this trap right here, all right? Now, I've seen a video that people were catching large crabs and lobsters and crayfish on iguanas. So, I don't know, guys. This is the perfect place to try it. There's a nice bay over there. It's super rocky. I can almost guarantee you there's going to be some really interesting creatures. Let's go ahead and set the trap. Okay, cool. Now, how this trap works, guys, we put the bait in the middle. Whatever fish and crabs smell it, they're gonna go in this hole right here and start eating it. But look, once they go in, they cannot escape. Whoa, so that's perfect. interesting. Perfect. So we're gonna make sure and send this out as far as we can. Mm -hmm. See what we can catch, all right? One, two, three. Whoa, Ooh, nice. Perfect. Oh yeah, check that out. We're gonna let go all the string so it sits. And then we're just gonna stick it right here in the sand so we know exactly where our trap is. We'll check on it in a few hours. You have to be careful on the knife because it's very sharp. Oh wow, look at that. You know what that looks like? It kind of looks like, it do like chicken, but it looks like a frog chicken. leg too, right? Frog chicken, legs. oh, chicken wing, yeah. Yeah, chicken wing. Wow. Perfect. Got it here. Karage marinade, guys. Marinade, we will marinate for like um, 20 minutes each. 20 minutes. And it tastes so good. I'm bringing you to Japan! Meat feels soft, huh? Mm-hmm, very soft. I feel like it's gonna be, oh my God. Do you know the texture is like chicken, really? That's why they call them the chicken of the trees, y'all. Yep, chicken of the trees. They live in the trees and they taste just like chickens. Chick sustainability, you know, like, I like this, you know, like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna pay for my food. To be honest, in this pandemic. Why pay when you can go out there and catch it and you're eating better than what you get at the supermarket? Plus Help you're you. helping the community, right? Exactly. It's a win, 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 win. Win scenario, y'all. You're winning all these ways just by out here and catching and cooking some Florida tree chickens. And later, we're gonna cook the egg. We're gonna oh, yeah. saute it with cook. soy sauce, pepper, um, scallions, you know, Asian, um, Asian style saute, you know, like, um, how do you always say that? Like, saute? Yes. You deboned some of the legs, huh? Mm -hmm. I did. Look at this. So it's kind of easy to, to cook, you know, 
it's just a small part anyway so oh. nothing is wasted yeah, yeah that's fine that's fine yeah we're gonna wash there and then i'm going to marinate with karage marinade we're gonna wait for 20 minutes and we're going to bread and we're gonna deep fry it and you're gonna like it so all right okay sure yeah. <laughs> sure it's clean there's no bloodline in there you know but well it's this is this is a brackish water so it's like salt and fresh water so it's clean guys so. yeah we're about a mile away from the ocean if that the beach is right down the street so salt water would disinfect it too and keep it nice yep and it's we're gonna deep fry it so. Of course guys, so after we wash the chicken of the tree, I'm not gonna call it iguana, okay? So chicken of the tree, we're gonna put it in here. We have to marinate for 20 minutes. Well, in a normal kitchen, if I'm in New York, I usually marinate my chicken karage with, you know, chopped garlic. We have a chopped garlic there, but it's, you know, we're trying to catch the, the light in here. So, and we don't have a chopping board, so. We're gonna put some soy sauce from Kiko Man. Kiko Man did not pay us for this. I put it in near the label. So we're gonna put that to, you know, season and salt. That's it. Not much because we don't want our chicken. Chicken, right? <laughs> I call it chicken. Not much. So we're gonna marinate that super sesame oil Ooh. of course in japan when you have the sesame oil that gives the umami flavor of every food that you cook so uh, sesame oil so oops okay so let me use this one i just need a small okay i just open it a little bit okay. we don't need to to open much you know that sesame oil gives the umami flavor in it okay so we're gonna mix again that and then of course don't forget some pepper to take out you know what guys when every time there's like a raw meat or something you have to put some pepper or ginger to take out the fishiness taste you know oh this is not ground pepper so I wish it's ground but let me do something let me do something we have a stone here or something too. We just not to, we just need to crush the pepper. That's it. Somewhere hard. I thought I bought the the crushed pepper guys or oops. Oops, how is that? We just need a little bit of it, right? Yep. Just for a taste of it. Perfect. I'll chop some garlic. The problem part guys is I overlooked the pepper. I thought it's crushed. But you know like it's okay. So we're gonna crush this this pepper and just we just like need some aroma in it to take out the you know the fishiness. Every meat, every raw meat have that fishiness in them guys. So we just have to crush this, get the aroma. But of course when we deep fry them, we don't put the pepper, you know, we just want that flavor to that. And then you go of course the favorite of everyone raw garlic so we're gonna put it in here i think you like more garlic iguana man or hey the more the merrier right yeah do you eat garlic some people are not into garlic i am into garlic perfect so we're gonna Cut some garlic, chop garlic, and in a normal kitchen, guys, I crush them, like really crush, and then you know, like into very small pieces. But you know, we are in the nature. That's how you do it, right, Raj? That is true. In the nature, anything you have is what you use. Yeah, we don't have the luxury of being in a in a kitchen. I with, know with a right? cutting board. Like we're legit trying to live off the land. 
Yeah, practice we are to be, uh, sustainability. Sustainability. We are teaching you guys sustainability. Like, like whatever is on your surroundings, you know, you can make out of it, and you can make, you know, like you don't need to go to the supermarket buy the chicken. You just, you know, catch these iguanas, and you know, cook it where whatever you have in your camping, whatever, right? If you do a camping ranch, you don't need. Okay, one wow, more, that's and then. Good. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna leave that for at least 20 minutes for the umami flavor to go in the meat. Okay. And then we're gonna show you the next step on doing karage and you're gonna like it, guys. Sweet. We'll see you guys here in a bit. Yeah. Right. So look, we put some garlic in there, pepper, soy sauce, sesame oil. Well, in a normal kitchen, of course, you have a lot of more flavor and I am expecting it's a crushed pepper, but it's okay. We just need the scent of it. And we're gonna leave this for 20 minutes and of course usually guys when I'm at, at home I do my own flour corn flour I put pep crushed pepper in there and salt to bread this this is chicken guys this is chicken of the tree so we need to do a breading and do a deep frying of your karage using vegetable oil but this time since we have no more time so we bought this Karage coating mix. Okay, we're not paid, but this is what the one we 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 saw in the <laughs> in the store. So it's gonna make our life a little yeah. bit easier. Kiko man, Kiko man, Kiko man, <laughs> Kiko man. You know, you know what you need to do to us. Okay, <laughs> okay. Mm -mm. Yeah. So that's it. We're so let's wait for like 20, minutes. twenty minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. I'll tell you guys one thing already, guys. I'm over here and I'm right above it, and I can actually just smell. That, that garlic and that sesame oil just... Oh my gosh. Yep. Oh my gosh. Marinated chicken, right? Oh my gosh. So that I'm gonna right go there wash, my wash my hands and then we're okay. gonna go back 20 minutes and we're going to bread it. Okay. Are those swordfish? No, they're not. Guys, there's a bunch of fish out here. I know. Like a whole school of them. Look, look at them. Look, hold on, look. Guys, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Oh, oh yeah, look at... Oh my gosh. CJ, there's a bunch of fish coming next to you, bruh. Oh my goodness. Oh, they look like sardines. These, Big class of fish. We have all these sardines, guys. That's super cool. Actually, they all look these sardines. Cool. Guys, comment down below, guys, if you guys know what kind of fish those are right there. So guys, after 20 minutes of waiting, we have our karage mix. I told you before, I explained you that on a normal kitchen, I do my own karage mix, but since we had no time and we don't have a lot of resources so we're gonna put all in here and you see that we're gonna bread the karage here but let's gonna find out if those breadings are enough for this and if it's not enough we have more here to use okay First, guys we want to make sure that your fat is dry because if it's not dry you know when we put oil it's gonna burst and pop so we're gonna do deep frying karage actually. So we're gonna put the vegetable oil, guys. Okay, it's dry already. So make sure that the oil is high enough for deep enough to deep fry. And then guys, so as I told you, we're not gonna use those peppers, right? Because they're too spicy. So we're gonna put in here on the breading. This is the breading mix, guys. So we dry them out. We put on the breading one by one. Put it in here. Put it in here. Guys, make sure you don't fry the garlic because the garlic gets um, dark and bitter, you know? So we're gonna deep fry some of that. Make sure it's well coated, guys, because it gives the crispy um, flavor. Oh my God, look at that. Iguana man, they look so like a uh, chicken, <laughs> right? Yeah, look. absolutely. Look at this. Oh, wow. Right? Beautiful. Chicken yeah. karage, but we need to wait this for like, for you to find out that it's ready, you have to like deep and if it goes up, then it's ready. So let me get some paper plate, okay? Okay, guys, so you see that it's kind of hot, but first, we're gonna try to drop one small piece to make sure that it's gonna cook well there 
this one without bone before we put everything okay guys so we're gonna try this small one first and then whoa look at that so let it sit there oh my gosh that looks so good i think the oil is hot already we can put everything in there this five first batch first batch look at that looks so delicious are you excited Iguanaman? oh yeah that smells good it smells, smells good yeah it smells great it's chicken it's chicken of the tree right so We just want to make sure guys we take out those um, pepper because it's going to be more very spicy. It smells good right? Yep, it smells great. Yeah. That's why you call it chicken of the tree because it looks like chicken and tastes like chicken for sure. Make sure every inside are well breaded, guys. So, yeah. Comment down below, guys, if you want to taste this um, iguana karage. For sure, everybody, all of you, most of you, um, ate chicken karage in Japanese restaurants. So, it's a good uh, five to seven minutes, you know, uh, frying. And make sure to flip it over. Actually, the concept of it should be deep fried. So maybe on the next batch, we're gonna put more oil, guys. So you see that? Oh my God, it's so good. Do you smell it? it smells great. Oh wow! Look how look how golden that got already. Yep. 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 It smells like very uh, Asian. For sure. Yeah, I can smell that uh, sesame. I can smell that sesame oil, that soy mm -hmm. sauce, that garlic, that pepper oil. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so Raj, um, you see, there's less um, bubbles already, meaning. You know, the oil is inside the meat already, so this is cooked already, you see? Try the small one. Nah, those look good, you can take yeah, it Yeah, they look all yeah, good, yeah. All of them are good. Oh my I god, chicken by... karage! <laughs> oh my gosh. So good. Tell by looking at it, man. they're all... Yep. Super crispy. Yep. I don't wow. need to put more oil, I guess. There, there goes the final product. Wow, look at that, guys. I've never even had chicken karage. And I'm about to try iguana karage, guys. So I am definitely in for a treat. Huge shout out to our special guest, Lolly, for coming out here, helping me catch these iguanas, clean them. And guys, she just cooked you guys a very exotic, Asian, popular Japanese recipe, guys. And we're gonna try it. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up, a like, and also you can check out Lolly's channel as well. What's her channel called? My channel is Lolly Amante, guys. So you guys um, check that out. I did a lot of videos with the Iguana Man. So that's my channel, Lolly Amante, guys. What kind of sauce is that? Sweet chili. Typical Asian sweet chili. Ooh. Are you excited? So it's gonna be you or me first. Go ahead. Since I'm the visitor, right? We're yep. gonna put some in here on the side. Oh my god, this smells so good, Red. Go ahead and try it out with this sweet chili dipping sauce. I want to try it before without the sauce just so I can taste exactly how it tastes. Oh my god. Okay, real quick, I'm just gonna give a nice brief description of how it tastes. As soon as you bite into it, it has that crunch. Like you're eating a chicken sandwich from like Chick fil A. It's got a nice crust, it's very juicy on the inside. Uh, the meat is exceptionally tender in the inside as well and it's got a flavor of like like soy sauce ginger garlic 
and it's got some sweetness to it. So it's a very nice Asian oriental taste. It's a fantastic recipe and, and it's crispy and it's tender. I think it's a home run. What do you think? So guys, my first bite, it tastes like chicken karage, you know? And um, yeah, it tastes like really the Japanese karage you eat in the restaurant. Imagine it's everywhere in Florida. I'm happy you like it, um, Iguana Man. Yeah, it tastes like tastes Chick-fil-A. Like Chick like and then when you bite into it, it's sweet. It has like a teriyaki flavor. So it's like a crispy teriyaki chicken. That's my take on Iguana Karage, y'all. Absolutely phenomenal. Phenomenal so are you gonna dish. try this again? Are you going to cook that when I leave and I go back to Oh, absolutely. Yard? Absolutely. I'm stealing this recipe from you. I'm I have gonna to. get this big one <laughs> because I'm so hungry, guys. So I'm so sorry, but it tastes so good. I like the tenderness in there. Oh, yeah. It's like it's crispy outside, but it's juicy inside, right? So there's no difference like chicken. Oh, yeah. I think this one is tastier, I must admit. Um, I can't wait to move here. I'm gonna catch a lot of iguanas. I don't need to pay <laughs> for chicken. <laughs> Come out here, eat all these tree chickens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Guys, this was a recipe brought to you by Lali. Mm -hmm. If you have a recipe that you guys wanna see us try, drop some comments down in the comments down below. We'll go ahead and try it out. This right here, absolute home run. Guys, if you guys haven't been eating iguanas and you're living in Florida or you wanna try it, stop missing out. Come out here and do it, guys. They're everywhere, all right? Also, if you don't know how to catch iguanas or you want a tour, I have hunting tours available. I can take you out to some hot spots, some honey holes, and I have all the equipment that you need to teach those iguanas a fat lesson and put them in the bag. It was so fun catching them, cleaning them, cooking them, and eating them, guys. Eating them, that's actually the best part. Look at that, look how much more we have. Wow, it's like, it looks like Kung Pao chicken or something. I don't yes, know, guys. It looks like a <laughs> that tastes delicious, yeah, right? Yeah, so good. Also, guys, check out Lali's channel. Lali Amante, guys. I have Instagram to Lali underscore Amante. We'll put we'll put the link in the description Ito down below, guys. guys. Oh my gosh! After two hours waiting, kasi minarinit namin yung iguana don. Pero ngayon titing na namin, guys. Kung titing na namin ni Raj ni iguana man, kung anong nahuli namin dun sa basket na itin draw namin, which is Iguana yung nandon. We put some iguana there, you know, the, the stomach and you know, the remaining iguana that were supposed to do a karage and then it's in the basket. So, after two hours of waiting, we're gonna find out what's inside. Maybe there's some shrimp in there, right? Or I don't know, tingnan natin. Let me pull it, okay? Where is it, Rod? Wanna maybe there's catfish here. Oh yeah! Oh, there goes the trap. Wait. Oh. It's so heavy! Oh my god. Oh, my. Wait, oh, there's wait. something in there. Yeah, there's, there's something, something in there. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh. Wow. Oh, it's so heavy. What's inside? In oh, there? yeah, we got some crabs. But they look mad. Let's check. Oh, my goodness. Let me see. Open it up. And oh. that's my favorite. Yes, I used to... What? Oh, my. They're, they're scavengers. Crabs oh, are they're scavengers. scared. <laughs> so... Wait, wait, wait. Actually, Actually, when I'm in New York, it's my favorite to cook crabs. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna cook it. So, okay, guys. So let me check one. But I feel like they're so mad at me. They're mad at me. They're so big. Oh, oh my gosh! My goodness! Oh my gosh, guys! Look how big is that? Guys, we got crabs in the bag. In the bag. Wow. Check it out right there. You got them? Go ahead. Oh! Wow. I went to saute that. Got all the guts real quick. So basically you just pop the head off, y'all. Just pop it off and then give it a good wash. Guys, I'm from the Philippines. I'm a bass. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh, get him! He's gonna escape! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him. Oh my god! There you go. Oh, they fight with each other. Yeah. Ah, she's oh my back gosh, they're her. eating each other. Look at that. Yeah, I know. Oh my goodness. They're back to her habitats. Crab cleaning lesson one on one, guys. Oops, 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 oops. Not me. Not me. You cannot. You only have one. So you go under the carapace of the crab, grab the sheath. And then you just, you just, it's, it's, it's on a hinge, guys. So you got to break the hinge. 
you have one? But yeah, this yeah, is yeah. okay. Oh, she there got it. Go. She got it. Oh, my goodness. Oh. oh, my gosh. Look at all those guts right there. Just need to catch. Oops, sorry, guys. There you go. Got the key, all the guts. Make sure, guys, it's key. Oh, she's still alive. You Those know. are just nerves. Yep. Beautiful meat. Okay. Yep. Wow. Yep. You're gonna try it, right? We're gonna cook garlic butter with chili. That could be bad. Okay, cool. <laughs> This is how we do in the nature, all natural ingredients. We got the blue crabs in there. Of course, we clean there. You know, it's in the nature, so we're gonna start cooking. So, first, we put a lot of oil in there. A little oil, actually. It's good we have this. And we're gonna put a lot of butter later. We're gonna put all the garlic we chop, guys. It's a garlic butter crab, guys, with chili. So, of course, a lot of butter, a lot of garlic and butter later. God, I like this experience. The nature, guys, imagine only in Florida and only with the iguana man, guys. Some scallions, but the other one we put it fresh, but we're gonna put it now. So. so that's like a green onion, right? Yep. Or a scallion? Scallion, yeah. Then our crabs, guys. Oh my god. Uh, your meat and leg, okay? Wow. We clean in the. You're gonna find out, guys, if it's cooked already, if it turns red. You know, so. Ooh, so it's gotta turn red. Yeah, if it turns red, you make sure it's cooked already. We're gonna put some chili to take out the, the fishiness in there. Just not a lot, just a little. That's Whoa. it. That's it, guys. Oh, high tide or there's a boat? So guys, we're gonna put the butter last because if we put the butter now, it's gonna get toasted. It's gonna get uh, burned, you know? So we're just trying to cook the crabs first with the garlic, scallions, and some chili paste to take out the, the you know, the fish paste in there. So yeah, and then we are gonna cover it for about good um, five to seven minutes before we can put the butter. The butter is the last one, guys. Here. Wow. I'm gonna I'm gonna mix one more and then cover it again guys. Oh wow. Oh it got crispy. Yep. Wow. And they have this at Chinese restaurants, right? Mm -hmm. I've seen this before. Yeah. Chili garlic butter. Oh but goodness. we have to make it like more red before we can put the butter. The crab needs to be more red, right? Mm -hmm. Wow, guys. I'm pretty sure you guys go to the Chinese restaurant and you guys see a crab that's like fried and kind of chilly and it's got that green scallion stuff. Well, apparently we're making it from scratch right now, guys. Yep. So this yep. is going to be really interesting. This is the real authentic way on how to do it. In the nature. In the, oh yeah, in, in the, the nature. nature. We can't forget. And using the iguana as the bait. <laughs> oh yeah, true, true, true. I feel like we are in China Mandarin Oriental. 
we're gonna find out if the crab is actually the 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 pan we're using it's kinda like um it's not thick that's why it burns quick but you know we're gonna try to put it out so no worries So amazing. Okay, so the butter is ready. We're gonna put the butter now because they're all red and you know. Woo! It's so hard to speak in English because I speak Tagalog in Philippines. I speak English for iguana man. <laughs> so we're gonna put the butter. The more the butter you put, we put, guys, we use unsalted butter because of course the crab is salted already right the crab is already salty so we're gonna put the unsalted butter yeah, that's not so i'm gonna put the other one too oh my gosh yeah the heat is on okay it's just that we put the butter and the butter is cold so the temperature went down What do you think about the portable stove, Lolly? I like it a lot. Where can I buy that? I'm gonna buy one of that. Or if there's some sponsors, you wanna sponsor us, right? We need that portable stove and portable pan and cooking pan. We cover it and in two minutes, it's ready. It looks so delicious, guys. So. We're gonna take them out and it's so ready to serve. It's ready to eat. So guys, don't burn the onion because they, they're bitter when you eat it. So yeah, it's ready to eat. And I don't know how to turn that off, Iguana Man. So please help me. There you go. Oh, there's a level too. Spicy garlic butter crab. This is the one we catch using the iguana as our bait here. Right? So look at that. I want to taste you break it. it. You break it for the nuggets. Ooh. See the nuggets, guys? This one. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. It's so delicious. Yeah? You have, have a bean monk in there. It gives... um. Um, a fermented taste but it still tastes good because of the butter it's good um there's no difference guys oh my god it smells good it smells, it smells like uh it smells like benihana's it smells good yum I'm just going through the clusters. These are blue crabs, guys. These aren't those giant snow crabs. So you got to eat the clusters. But basically, I'm getting that seared, uh, that seared kind of oniony, kind of, kind of good flavor, guys. It's like pan seared. It's buttery. It's spicy, and um, it tastes like it's been in a wok or something like that. You know, this one's good. All right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And those crabs. They were caught in these mangroves right here, guys. So all they're eating is basically rotting vegetation. They'll eat the occasional dead animal here and there because that's what they do by nature. But since we are in the mangroves, they eat the mangrove leaves and that's what makes their meat really, really sweet. So this stuff right here, whoo, boy, oh boy. 
that is some good eats if you guys love seafood right there that's that's a straight up delicacy right there y'all it's a big nuggets look straight shrimp up nuggets so delicacy good. right there guys don't get any better than that plus we caught them using the iguana that we ate and that we killed on the job earlier that's so. not important <laughs> So guys, we're out here hunting the iguanas, removing them, but we're trying to show you guys that they are a resource, all right? Don't go out and kill them and throw them away. Give them to somebody, guys. There's people out there that know the value of the meat, and if you guys can't find nobody to give to, go out there and go fish with them or go crab with them, guys, because they are phenomenal bait. One of the best recipes that I've had. Look at the view. Look where we're at, y'all. I know. And they keep on popping the nuggets. That is insane, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the red subscribe button. Um, drop some other recipes and some other catch and cook ideas you guys want to see me do in the comments down below. Also, Lali has her very own YouTube channel. Lali Amante, guys. I'm from New York, but the Iguana Man is very generous to welcome me here in Florida. So watch my YouTube vlog, Lali Amante. We'll put that link in the description down below. You guys can follow Lali and enjoy all her traveling vlogs but huge shout out to lolly because she came out here and she helped me catch and cook these crabs and we showed you guys a really nice recipe so guys show some love give the video some likes check out lolly and guys we got to go we're going to finish this crab because we got a bunch of them to eat and we will see you on next vlog ito siya guys oh nahuli lang namin siya dito guys i'm so excited we just catch it here and i can't wait to be back here guys tingnan nyo ang sarap mm, it's so delicious oh my god ang sarap guys well i have to eat this guys with the iguana man okay it's so sweet it's so tasty and guys if you like this video kung nagustuhan nyo to put a thumbs up comment subscribe and if you have any ideas on recipe sa mga hinuhuli namin iguana crabs maybe duck kung may recipe kayo guys mag comment lang kayo down below kasi pipiliin namin yung sweating recipe and then ang mananalo may merchandise na matatanggap and of course shout out namin kayo na ginamit namin yung ingredients nyo so thank you so much for watching I have to eat this and boom boom lots of love from florida Mwah.